Hey guys, Heather here with Angel Guided Twin Flame. So I'm jumping on here to do a new video. Um, I was just checking out supplies and everything. People that been watching me since last year, I did a video last year about saving food because that's when I was guided to start doing it. But um, you know, a lot of things, um, it's, it's time again, basically. So um, here I am, and you know, I'm always resistant to get online because I'm I'm a light worker first, and so I'm all, also dealing with the energies and with the ascension and stuff like that, and within the family and um, within the world. And so it's been really heavy the last couple of days. We've had a lot of solar flares. There's a lot of a lot of prophecies that are coming true, but um, you know, mainly with the solar flares and stuff and the the pole shift information and everything just coming through and um but it's been really heavy in the last couple of days as well so if you guys are feeling it hold on because i am about to talk about the famine okay so it is prophesied in the bible but what um god showed me when i was going through about to make this video he showed me well actually when i was making the sabbath video i saw it the first time when it said um, he brought us out of Egypt, brought the people out of Egypt, basically, um, and that he would bring us out of this. The thing is, there's always famines. There's famines all through the Bible. There's pestilences. He, in fact, all the um, all the plagues and everything that he unleashed on Egypt. The in ancient Egypt is is um, you know it's crazy that that's where the Bible started. That's where everything started. And honestly, uh, Abraham was the first one that was blessed. But regardless. The thing is, because that ties to Joseph, um, Joseph became Israel and that's where the Israelites came from. So again, they're, you know, the Israelites and the Jews and all of that, they don't, they don't, you know, it's not just their God, it's everybody's God. And he blessed Sabbath on the seventh day. But however, the thing is, he always has people prophesize about the pestilence or, the, you know, about the famine. We are going to be raptured, but we are going to go through some hard times. Okay. It's going to get worse because every time there's a fall of a civilization and it's happened four times and it's actually all in the Bible because Joseph um, got sold into slavery, was the 12, one of the 12 brothers. There's a 12 again. The 12 brothers of, um, oh, he's the son of, he's the grandson of Abraham though. So he's the grandson of the founder and he had the coat of many colors, which I was just reading about. And he's the one that saved the people because he was sold into Egypt, into slavery, into Egypt. And he ended up saving the people from the famine because he stocked up. So here's the thing. Um, it's time to stock up, you guys. If it's not just for your family, I am stocking up for more than just me. Hopefully, I'll be able to share this. And I think that quote, when it's in the Bible and it says, um, sorry, I'm talking kind of um, in the beginning, but I, want, I mean, this all kind of matters, um, where it says, those that have more, well, more will be given to them. And those that have none, that will even be taken away. I think what that means is that when we switch over to the new world, when we switch over, like, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to change. But even when we do that, we're still going to have, you guys still have to have something to work with. So like when Jesus made the bread and the fish and the loaves is what Spirit showed me. Well, they had to have something to make that out of. So we can make a lot out of nothing, out of, out of a little bit, even on the other side. But we are going to have some time where it's going to be tested. You know, it's what Jesus talks about is sorting the goats from the sheep. Okay. The wheat from the shaft or whatever, you know, he talks about the parable of the weeds, you know, where the sons of sons of God were put down here. And then so were the sons of Satan and basically said at the end of time, he'll just root them all up and he'll put his wheat in the storehouse and he'll burn the rest. So there's a lot of parables in there about this. But anyways, they said this is going to be worse than any other time. There was a famine all over the world in these different um, time periods in the book um, of Joseph. When Joseph was king, there was a huge famine all over the world. Um, there's different famines and different falls of different civilizations. And it's all in the Bible, you guys. It, that's a cosmic history book. It actually tracks the four periods of time. It's crazy. It's awesome. So anyways, we're about to go through famine. And no matter what, we need food. Okay, other people need food. There's a lot of people that don't know this is going on. I know that people watching this right now, half of you probably think I'm crazy, and that's fine. They thought no one was crazy 
They thought everyone was crazy when they started saving up, right? So, but the thing is, I am awakened and I have the Holy Spirit in me and he's telling me this stuff and he's telling me, you're not going to go online. And I'm like resistant the whole time, guys. They bullied me into this, okay? Like, God's like, when I started around um, Easter last year, he's like, really? You're not going to get online because I, I didn't have, um, you know, I wasn't ready. <laughs> But anyways, no, I'm doing it, okay? Yes, I love God, and I'm nervous, though. I'm always nervous, you guys. I don't, I'm don't. i not professional at this, and I really don't want to do this that much, and I, don't, I have so much going on in my life, and I love you guys, though, and I love sharing the information. It, it like, is so passionate. I love sharing this stuff, okay? So let me go into that. I know I got a little bit down there for a sec, but, okay, I've been going through a lot. But listen, I love sharing this, okay? We got food. Um, I'm going to go through each food category that you should be ne looking for and saving. Okay, I've been doing this since last year. I looked into all of this because I really know that um, I'm here to help a lot of people. And I want to make sure even no matter what my family, it was very asleep, is very asleep. But they're going to wake up because they're my divine children. And so in our, you know, even no matter what, your children are promised to you, it says in the Bible. And they're a responsibility anyway. So I want to make sure I have enough to feed, you know, people. And so, and at least my family okay so think about your family who's in your immediate family and think about at least three days i mean for real because we're going to go through three days of darkness okay we always we're going through a two thousand years well actually we're at the end of a twenty six thousand year cycle this is a cosmic thing you guys this is like they were at the end of a twenty six thousand year ascension cycle it's time to cycle back up because we've missed the last ascension because of the fall and everything and so but I'm being guided and I'm being guided to, you know, um, save food again. So I'm sharing the information as I get it. And as I'm, you know, because I'm connected and if I'm being guided to, you know, save food and now coming out with it, you guys in the next month, think about it. Easter is next month. We went through a huge shift, um, in December, this last year in December and actually 2022, February 2022 is when this all started, really, was um, when heaven aligned on earth and really the fall of America started. It's happening, you guys. This is Babylon. You know, the flag, red, white, or red and blue, uh, masculine, feminine, or right, left, you know, right brain, left brain. It's all, you know, the matrix colors, blue and red, and then the stars, star seas. So anyways, it's just, it's crazy, but they didn't hold up to their bargain, so it's falling and okay so i went through and was thinking about everything okay i started cooking natural that's another thing i'm going to be teaching about and just like showing easy simple recipes i have a garden you guys if you've been watching me if not i have a garden and i teach a lot like this when i'm doing videos i do teachings and i do like you know bible quotes and like just stuff that's coming down about information okay as you've seen in my other videos even outside and stuff okay so you want to make sure you have all the baking stuff because you're going to need to start cooking from from scratch there's i mean this the food in the store is poison, you guys. It's poison. It's all the stuff in it. It's no good for you. It's all, I mean, there's a lot of GMOs anyway. So it's the best thing. And it's so good. I actually, I mean, I'm hard headed. So I was still buying stuff in the store, but I had all the stuff saved and I've grown out of stuff and I'm like, hmm, I have flour and this and that. So I started writing down like recipes and found the best ones, some simple, easy ones that, okay. So you want to have a lot of baking soda because you can use that to clean too. Okay, you know, I just like checked on my spices, salt, make sure you have salt, okay? Coffee, if you drink coffee, oh my gosh, I drink coffee, so I got two coffees. Um, cacao powder, that's um, uh, all natural cocoa powder, you guys, is so good if you can afford a couple extra dollars. It's just like um, cocoa powder, but it's organic and actually has, um, it has um, some really good natural stuff in it. It's good for you. I just learned about it, but... Big bag of chocolate. If you guys like sweets, make sure you have something sweet to make, okay? I also have a big bag of blueberries because I just went to Sam's Club. Okay, so um, cornstarch, um, yeast, okay? Any kind of little packets. I was just kind of seeing what I had. Big bags because that's where I'll put the sugar and stuff in and the flour. And I already have some over here. Okay, so um, olive oil. If you, you know, use olive oil, definitely if you use regular oil. I have another bottle of regular oil over there creamer and then i did have i did get some of this until i learned last year like you know at the end of last year i started learning more about natural stuff because i'm new with this but i mean it proves that you know it's it, it i don't know it comes from within but it's really um 
you know, this is the way we're supposed to be, you guys. Not depending on the government to make us all this crap that they're feeding us and we're feeding our kids and we're all overweight and we're unhealthy and, you know, and it's just, it's crazy, you guys. So this is the way it should be. This is the way we're going back to is more natural cooking, more not, you know, making our own breads, making our own stuff. We're going back to like the ancient old, like not old, it's new though. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be more community-based. You know, there's going to be no federal government type of thing. And this is what happened when Egypt, Egypt fell too. It fell into more like, um, you know, states back into areas, you know, tribes basically. So anyways, um, but we're still moving to a new earth. But the thing is, what I got out of that was even if we do or don't go through. So, you know, there's Bible verses also that talk about in the end days, um, God's people will live like kings. Okay, we will not hunger or thirst for anything, but we have to make sure that we're spiritually feeding ourselves because Jesus said a man cannot live on bread alone. And that, that's true. I mean, everything I have, you guys, and I mean, I barely, I mean, most of my stuff's research based and I'm doing a lot of energy work all the time anyways. You know, like I'll, sometimes I'm so overwhelmed with energy. I have to like ground all day, go outside, spend a lot of time outside because I'm constantly doing light work. So, um... Anyways, it's a process of healing too because I was still dealing with all that in my family. But anyways, okay, so let me show you what else we got. I already had these um, tubs, things from last year. I was so grateful somebody had these. So I had gotten big bags of rice already. Um, I have pictures of those. I'm going to put pictures at the end of this of everything. And I know this is kind of getting long. I usually cut them up. But, um, you know, the thing is... <laughs> I have a lot, this is how I give information and teach too is during the times. Okay, so in here we got flour, but then I've got more flour. I'm going to fill that back out, up. I was just kind of checking resources. Um, oh, okay, so, my, so the seeds, you guys, it's almost time to plant. I have a garden, and I teach about um, container gardening. And, um, you know, you can garden on your back porch. And this is awesome. Um, you know, it's good, better to get... Um, heirloom seeds, but I do have some seeds in here. Some are heirloom, and I have a bunch in here. I'll put pictures of what I have from last year and some stuff. Oh, this is the best thing to have. Um, natural. I go all natural on everything, and that's there's a, there's a natural remedy for everything. So that's neem oil. That's the best stuff to have for pest control um, for your garden. Okay, so over here, I got pretty much one of every condiment, just one, because, I mean, I don't have that much money, so, you know, if you have money, Stock up on even more, um, especially if you know people. You guys, and you could trade this, no matter what. You could trade food. You could trade anything, you know? So, we're going to be mean. I mean, it's money's falling also. Money. Get your money out of the banks. That's another thing. Banks are about to fall, especially federal banks, okay? This is like, you know, high-end information, spiritual information. But I, I know it's true, and I believe it because I've been tracking it too and with some really like financial professionals and also spiritual financial people and astrology and all this stuff okay so sugar and also powdered sugar you can make frosting with that beans okay I got rice over there flour and pretty much you know all the main condiments and then I always make sure I have some good tomato sauce I'm oh I'm gonna make some homemade spaghetti sauce I'll I'll show you guys tonight um actually it's really good oh, okay oh yeah so over here i've been saving this stuff since like the middle of last year or so maybe last year because i like i go to food pantries because i can and because um you you don't have to have um an income like either way whatever income you have you're going to a food pantry but i went because i knew that this time was going to happen and i started like going just basically to get stuff. Actually, when my daughter lived with me. Yeah, when my daughter lived with me, I started going. And I was getting my grandson formula and diapers too and everything. And anyways, so um, yeah, I started just getting stuff, saving it. And they also give cheese and everything. I would recommend that. Oh my gosh, since that's coming up, you guys can go to food pantries. In the next couple weeks, I seriously, that would be a way to stock up for free. Anybody on here, any amount of income, you can go. You, you, there's, there's local food pantries wherever you're at, okay? So then when shit hits the fan, which it's going to, and I would say, oh my gosh, you guys, what if it's by, I think it's going to be by Easter. I started really waking up and giving these messages about Jesus like last Easter. So, I mean, I think that'd be amazing. And I think everyone's saying it's going to happen. There's something big that's going to happen this month. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, 
I'll just make sure the supplies you have. I'll, I'll have pictures, you know, of stuff. You just want to make sure you have all the seasonings, all the stuff for baking, stuff for sweets, uh, oil, flour, yeast, um, some kind of chocolate, coffee if you drink coffee, creamer. And you know, if you don't, if you don't have a Sam's Club, no, if you you might know someone that does. Seriously, like my best friend has one, and so she takes me. And um, yeah, and I'll show you guys how to um, freeze. I'll talk through the pictures too. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this one up because I've been talking for like 15 minutes. But I mean, honestly, this kind of stuff's nervous to get out online too because. You know, everyone, are, it doesn't matter. I Like, look, I don't care. I'm doing what I'm guided. And I've made one of these before. So, anyways, I'm here saving up stuff so I can help people, help anyone in need that needs it. And, it, you know, when we switch over or even even in the end times, look, because of the bread and loaves, what, whatever is here will probably could be multiplied hundredfolds. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I'll be here, you know, to help people and also to show people how to cook easily like um simple recipes and also um garden simple ways to garden home gardening home ways that you don't have to buy all that stuff you don't have to buy like you know you have to buy some stuff but you don't have to buy all the pesticides for sure or most of the stuff i go all natural and that's the way to go you guys most of the stuff we don't even need so all right oh and then over here um paper towels batteries um, candles. Oh my gosh, candles. We are going to have three days of darkness, okay? When we're going through the void and that, that that's what they talk about when the sun, the moon darkens and the stars fall. We're actually going through the sun and we're going through the void. So we'll be in the void for three days, okay? So that that's what I got to get people ready for too and just know when it goes dark, just stay in your house. We're, we're going through the void and um, have at least three days of stuff, you know, um, and have a way to contact... I, I think they said last time something like this happened. There's actually electricity in the air and the pyramids are going on. The pyramids are free energy. They're part of what was created for this time. It's free energy source. So we're going to have free energy too, you guys. It's going to be, so they say even during that time, the electricity, the electronics will still go. They'll, I mean, actually, this is what happened last time. One of the times this happened, the electricity in the air, the electronics and stuff are still going. So I don't know exactly how it's going to go, you guys. But, um, oh, potatoes. If you eat potatoes, potatoes are awesome. Um, you know, I don't think they have much nutritional value, but they're really filling. You could do so many things with them. So um, I also make homemade fries and stuff. It's pretty easy. I'll probably show you guys. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get off here. Blessings. Okay, guys. Well, here's some just random shots of stuff that you might want to Make sure you have salt, seasonings, stuff to cook with, cocoa powder, flour, olive oil, yeast. I think I double took, put a couple of the same pictures in there. I know it was a spaz on this video when I recorded it, guys. But I, I mean, sometimes I am with the information coming through. Beans, because, you know, meat is going to be non-existent pretty much. Canned foods. You guys can go to pantries. I talked about that in the video. Um, candles, batteries, make sure you have flashlights, rice. You can get big bags of rice at Sam's Club for like 10 or $15, really. It's not that expensive. Rice is a good thing to have on hand. Powdered milk, flour. Um, you want to freeze your flour for about three days. That kills any microbes or anything inside of it. Also, fresh vegetables. That's what I started doing. Cutting up butter. Make sure you have butter. And also frozen um, fruit so that'll stay in the freezer. Just, you know, sweeteners, beans, flour, peanut butter. Make sure you've got all of your condiment type of stuff. Tylenols, you know, some soap backup, some first aid stuff. Here's some more vegetables I cut up and um, froze, which is a great idea because frozen's gross, right? And then here's some of my stuff from last year. I'll be teaching about this too, okay? All right, well, blessings.